Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and today what we're going to do is try to route the LG Optimus Regard 4G LTE from uh, Cricket Wireless. We're using a method that was originally used on the LG Optimus 4X but the Metro PCS users have found that it is successful by using it on their LG Motion which is basically the same phone as the LG Regard. So first you're going to install the LG drivers in case if you don't have them already installed. I already have them installed um, so when I connected my device and put it in MTP mode I am able to see the LG LW770 uh, right there with no problems download another file called O4XR uh, zip and I placed it on my computer and now I need to extract those files and they tell you to extract it to the C drive because that's just the easiest way to find them later Let's go ahead and click Extract All, and we'll choose C. So here they are, right there. They have all the uh, ADB files that we'll need as well. Let's go ahead and turn on the device. We have transferred the IS11LG underscore system backup test dot signed APK to our device. We're going to go into settings and make sure that install from unknown device or uh, unknown locations is allowed. It's under security. And you can see unknown sources is checked. So we are good there. Now we're going to open a file explorer and install. Now we're going to go into the developer options and settings and check USB debugging and make sure that's enabled. We're going to have to unplug the USB to check that. Go ahead and plug it back in. Let the ADB drivers install. Let's go to our computer. Make sure we have that installed. You can see ADB interface right there. So it should work. Let's go ahead and go to a file explorer. If you don't have a file explorer on your device, go ahead and go to the Play Store. ES File Manager works fine, or Root Explorer. So we did place that APK on the root of our internal storage on this device. You can see it right there. We'll go ahead and install it. Once the app is installed, open it and then open the power options. Hold the power button for three seconds and click power off and restart. So like I said, go ahead and open then open the power options so power off and restart phone will restart, click OK once phone turns back on, it should be run slowly connect your phone to your computer through USB charging only so I'll unplug that real quick and then just plug it back in so let's go ahead and connect this back up says charging only right now it's in media sync MTP so we'll go ahead and change this when it lets us we'll go CD backslash from our command prompt which usually you can just go in well here we can change it usually you can search for a command prompt like on Windows uh, 8 or you can go into the start search and then hit CMD so let's change the directory to that OX4XR folder now let's type root we'll hit enter and actually it's nested in another O4XR on my computer folder and then I'll type root. Please don't touch the device or unplug while rooting.
So this time it looked like it ran correctly. It was supposed to come up with that. So it says go ahead and uninstall system backup test do not run or you'll have to run this script again. Let's go ahead and get in and let's uninstall that system backup test. We'll go into the settings. Apps. Click System Backup Test and then click Uninstall. Now we're done. Let's say Super SU, one new update. Go ahead and update it if that's available. Let's see if we access some of our files on the device that we normally wouldn't be able to access without root access. Let's go home. Go ahead and unplug the USB. Apps. Let's open up ES File Manager or ES File Explorer. We'll go into the settings. and we'll choose root settings root explorer only for rooted devices we'll click OK say yes it says if we want to grant it access we'll go ahead and click grant go ahead and update the SU binary from the beginning this might be a little bit slow if it is go ahead and reboot it and go from there See, so now it says we've gained root access. Let's go back. You can see we can get into the system area. So we know this device has root. So for more information about this device and more, Please visit my website at cricketusers.com, like my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash cricketusers, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It lets me get these devices and do these videos. Thanks a lot.